what is up guys mr the reverts here welcome back to the channel and ladies and gentlemen it has been a very very long time since i have uploaded a video about a month actually deeply apologize for that but i do have a couple of reasons why as to uh, why i haven't been uploading and one of which does i guess kind of tie into this video and i truly honestly didn't want to be one of those youtubers that talked about the situation because i feel like there is one a lot of mystery behind this case that's being developed like we still don't know the exact details obviously what we do know is one of the poor female employees committed suicide because of what happened uh, where Activision Blizzard has kind of this frat boy locker room type working atmosphere and, and again nobody in the Call of Duty scene or in the gaming scene stand by these types of actions it's very very disgusting um, but we do have a, a developing story here from Charlie Intel where the Activision Blizzard employees have staged a walkout tomorrow July 28th in front of the Blizzard HQ in Irvine, California to protest the company's executive response to the harassment lawsuit. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, pretty much every single one of Activision Blizzard's social media channels have not posted anything since the lawsuit was announced. And this walkout is going to be absolutely history making for the gaming scene. It's going to shed a lot of light on the situation, even more so internationally and I guess media wise. But still, at the same time, I believe that more action needs to be done more from the gaming community's part especially because you know we're the people who play these games from these developers that you know harass these poor female employees in this type of way and at the same time I still see replies and tweets of the situation people talking about oh well does this mean we're not gonna get anti-cheating or FOV sliders for consoles like all this BS stuff like that none of this stuff is not even important to the situation that is truly going at hand here and uh, it's definitely very very sickening and saddening to hear and i really do hate that this is my first video back in over a month but um honestly guys i really haven't been playing much call of duty over these past couple of weeks here uh and, and then this whole story just came out and, and really it just put a bad taste in my mouth to play call of duty right now which sucks it's such a shitty feeling it, it really really is because we're right now in the middle of you know the the next call of duty cycle we, we're on the verge of call of duty 2021 being announced and then we have all of this stuff going on right here so it really does kind of raise the question will some of this stuff be delayed but at the same time again too none of this is important because there is a much more bigger matter at hand here now the employees that organized this walkout have also listed a couple of demands which I will link a full article down below in the description and they've also asked those who cannot attend the protest to do so online with the hashtag acti blizz walkout so tomorrow if you guys want to feel free to put that hashtag on your tweets Facebook Instagram whatever you guys want to do so um, you can show your support for the walkout also the employees have sent a letter with over 2,000 current and former employees signing it demanding that Activision Blizzard executives issue a proper response to the whole situation because uh, pretty much the only statement that they have made about the allegations is calling it distorted which I guess really annoyed and angered some of the employees which caused this walkout and yeah I mean if I was in their situations, if I was in, in their shoes, I would be very, very annoyed too. So uh, it, it's definitely a very, very touchy situation. But to be honest, at the end of the day, we may not even see a, a full closure for this case until years from now. Because, you know, cases like this, even they, they take years to, to resolve and, and years for more information to come out. So it'll be very interesting to see what's going to happen weeks from now, months from now, even years from now. Um, but one thing to to remember is nothing is going to change or happen overnight but one thing for sure is this is definitely not good for the call of duty scene as i stated earlier we're on the verge of cod 2021 being announced season five for warzone but still none of this matters because a poor life was lost in a community where you think you could get away and take a break from the outside world and you know everything going on right now with covid and uh, and yeah but again guys I, I deeply apologize for this being my first video back but i feel like i can do my part of spreading awareness to this situation even though it's very very small but still i would like to contribute to this whole situation because it's sad it's very sickening and i haven't been playing much cold war or warzone for the past few weeks because for one of the game state and a lot of my friends also don't really like to play too much and then these harassment allegations came out and just put a huge huge bad taste in my mouth to play call of duty so yeah i'm still around i'm still playing video games 
games like Fortnite, Apex, Battlefield, Pokemon, like the list goes on and on. I've been playing a lot of games now, but just COD is in one of its worst states right now. And it's not just because of the game itself, it's because of everything else going on on the back end side of the game. But yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Again, I'm still around. I love you guys so, so much. Please tell me yours down below in the comments. I love you all so much again. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.